My name is Greg Christensen. I've been involved with mining for well over 30 years in all sorts of activities from suction dredging to politics and currently I'm an MMAC Washington District Administrator. Now the MMAC, which I'm a district administrator of, stands for Minerals Mining Advisory Council and what it promotes is the reactivation of mining districts in all states. I'm specifically interested in Washington State where I've assisted several to get back active again. They've never gone away. They've always been there. They have just been dormant. Now we have, I don't know, I think we're pushing 8, 10, 12 mining districts which are active. That's a big deal because we're federally recognized by the 1872 Mining Act we're on the same level as U.S. Forest Service and BLM. So we have a partnership with them instead of being regulated by them. Big deal. Uh, uh, take a little bit of credit for A few years ago, we have a, um, a mine in eastern Washington and in Stevens County. We formed a, a mining district, the Chewila Mining District, around this mine and other mines because at that time, they had tons, hundreds of tons of material that they had mined sitting on the ground waiting to be transported to uh, someplace in Montana or uh, refining facilities in Canada. But a state agency told them that if they took a shovel to that, in other words, they couldn't put it on a dump truck and move it, they would fine them up to a million dollars a day if they even attempted that. Well, of course, that's not right. First of all, this is patented ground. This is not just a federal mining claim. That was a kind of an ambiguity of the issue. So I talked to several state legislators in that area, senators and representatives. They, in turn, contacted that state agency, which, in turn, contacted me and said, well, we've had a, a little bit of issue with some of our field personnel, that is all corrected now, and we would like you to know that that mining entity can go ahead and move their material. So I said, well, that's all cool, but I need that in writing. Well, I don't know if we should, well, okay, yeah, we'll put it in writing for you. So they did, reluctantly. I gave a copy to the mining district. I gave a copy to the people that were to move their ore, kept a copy for myself, and we are ready to go. Uh, there's more detail, details on that. I mean, it just, it just worked out really well. The bottom line is, for that particular issue, don't be afraid of contacting your legislators. You should be in personal contact with them all the time, especially the one in your district. You have three. You have a, two legislators and a senator. You need to talk to them. I talk to mine all of the time. They know who I am, they know what I'm about, and issues that come up in Olympia, they contact me. So, you know, I'm going to probably retire here, you know, in a few months, but a couple of issues I want you to remember that I've learned over 30 years. Don't ignore letters from regulators. Miners have a tendency just to sit around and say, I don't want to be bothered, but if you get a letter, you should respond to it. If you don't know how to respond to it, ask us. Ask the Resources Coalition, ask the, your mining district, but do respond, don't ignore it. And always respond by letter, always. Keep a paper trail, keep your files, don't just throw these things away. The biggest thing I gotta tell you right now is do not respond to verbal regulations or verbal threats from regulators. If they come out and say, you got to do this, you got to do that, that's like, I don't even hear you. I don't even want to talk to you. Put it in writing. They can call you, they can email you, fine, but it has to be in writing. If it's not in writing, you can't take it to court. You cannot defend yourself. Put it in writing. Always tell them that. You can respond to it in writing. That's fine. 
but don't respond to a verbal threat whatsoever. Just turn your back, walk away, unless it's law enforcement. That's a little different issue. A couple other minor things. Uh, if you can, belong to a mining district. There's a lot of expertise in a mining district. We have great success using a mining district to help the miners. Don't be intimidated by regulators. They'll come out there and tell you, you can't do this, can't do that. Put it in writing. And also ask for advice from other miners. We've all been through it. You know, so let's all be together on this thing. You know, it's, it's not a, a singular issue. We all have to work together. We'll get where we're wanted, where we're wanted to be. That's the bottom line. So be friends with all of your miners. So thank you for your time. I certainly appreciate it and good gold.